Like, I even like country music. If it's done honestly, I like any music. You know, it's just like, it has to be truthful, though. I have to believe it. If, I don't care. I, I, I have a, the way I grew up, because I grew up in Greece, I was listening to such variety of music. So I learned to have an open mind about the sounds, the rhythms, everything. So. Okay, do you have an iPod? Gah! Ah. I think what that you, means no. What do, you, what do you think this is? Well, okay, but I mean, let's say, let's say you're... The world's biggest iPod. You're the of the world, right? Well, it's they've gotten much smaller t- now. I just want to let you know. I, don't I know. know. There's about three or four of them around here. Okay, yeah. who's on your iPod? Wait, oh. See? No, I'm not going to do that. I have been asked that. <laughs> I tried, you guys, I tried. I know, I have been asked that many times before. We have different uh, machines here. That, uh, actually, it's a little more advanced than iPods. They uh, talk all the way through the compound, anywhere you want, even on the boat. Yeah. It's a small boat, by the way. It's, not, it's, a, it's a little one. Even it's on not, the boat. I don't know if you guys got that. It's, yeah. not, it's not mine. It's my partner's. It's, it's a little <laughs> boat. But anything that we do in here and any music that we want... It's accessible instantly anywhere in the house, and you can use it through your iPhone. Now I told everybody I use an iPhone. See? It's okay. It's okay. I I think everyone has one at this point, right? right. They're ruling the world. Um, When you're here at the house and you're relaxing, do you always have music on? No. I like silence sometimes. This, um, especially at nights when it's uh, when it's time to um, re- retire, I I need at least an hour or two hours on, by myself, quiet, no TV, no nothing, just sit. And then what happens is I'm not writing music, but it's the same process. I allow myself to the thoughts come up, and any thought that comes in. I follow it to as much depth as it will take me until the next thought comes in. But it's one thought at a time. It's not a scatterbrain thing, this and that and this and that and the other. It's completely focused. Once in a while, music appears. And you can hear an entire composition come out. You don't have to play. It's just there. And you didn't ask it to come. Remember, you're not aware of what's happening. You're letting it be. But when that happens... At night, when you're trying to relax, do you have a, a pen and paper, and do you write? Do you write it? Yeah, there is always something right next to it, but a lot of times I try to avoid doing that. Yeah. The only time I do it is when we're getting close to a tour, like right now, because if I, if I have some ideas for the stage or things that we can do musically, and it's, they, they, there's so many different um, possibilities that I have to keep some notes to remember. But most of the time, once, once you're on that stage, uh, on that state, um, and it's related to music, I um, don't forget it. It's like the musical memory has increased over the years because it's just like... It's a muscle. It's a muscle, yeah. You just use it and you use it and it just create more neurons and here we go, psychology again. I'll go back to the thing. <laughs> Gifted, I'll say it. All right, we're going to take another quick break, but we'll be right back. If you have any questions, just go to yanni.com and submit your questions. And I promise when we come back from this break, we're going to answer the question. I said stash, and he's like, stash? Mustache. <laughs> Is the mustache and the beard and the long hair, is it ever going to make a comeback? <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> That's good. <laughs>
Welcome back, everyone. We are talking one-on-one -on -one with Yanni and getting very personal, and I hope not too personal, by the way, because because <laughs> I think the fans are asking a lot of personal questions, but so am I. But do That's you mind fun. that? No, not at all. This is fun. You love it? Okay, this let's is, get... That's the whole idea, isn't it? It's, yes, it is. Get a little closer if we can. <laughs> I like it, and you answer every question. I love this. Okay, but I want to get to this one. Cynthia in the USA. Uh, Yanni, what do you see yourself doing 15 years from now? Oh boy. Do you get asked that a lot? Uh, yeah, but it's, it's, I just want to have a good life. I think I'm going through probably, I think right now is the best time of my life. Um, it's, uh, I can't imagine life without music. And uh, now that I proved to myself that I could live without music, because that one time we were talking about, I did not touch the piano for a whole year. I mean, I did not get in the studio for a whole year and I didn't play an instrument for a year. It was all or nothing. I wanted to know that I could be whole without it. Um, I'm just going to be doing it until the end of my life, uh, the, the creative process. And then really right now, I don't, it's a good time because I don't feel like I have to prove anything to anybody anymore. So when I write music or I go on tour, it's because I want to. And I'll do as much as I can handle. You know, and as you get older, your body can't handle it as well. Uh, How would you know about being older? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Nice. Yeah, that's right. Um, but it, it's, it's just, you know, I can't imagine doing anything else but music. I'm sure people ask you this question as well. If you could do something else, what would you do? Is it... it I mean, it's a hard question to answer. It is. You know what? I, I don't know if I, I've written the story on my, in my book, but it's like I actually went and got a regular job once. Really? Yeah. Why'd you go do such a thing? I, it was, I didn't want to tell you. It's just, it doesn't matter. And okay, no, I do. I, what wait matters. a second. You can't leave me hanging like that. First of all, <laughs> what job did you do? I, it, I went and passed a course in Minnesota, it, uh, became an employment counsel counselor. Believe it or not, because I thought I could just work a little bit and then yeah. take the money and stay home at nights instead of traveling with rock and roll bands and start recording music and doing all that stuff. The, no the, one the, wants the, to travel the, with a rock and roll band. <laughs> the reason I brought it up is to show you that, that you, to tell you what happened. I went to the first day after I got, I went to school for two or three weeks, whatever. I got my degree and then I went to work and at noon, I just got in my car, drove home, and I said, that's it. I'm only going to do music or I'm going to starve to death. And that was it. That was, that was, that's, I, had, I did uh, hold the job for four hours. Four hours? Yeah, that's that was good. awesome. That's good. Four hours. I think, that's, I think you're doing okay, though. Okay, um, this is Sarah, and she wants to know, what is your favorite song to play live? A lot of them. A lot of them. There, you know, this this particular tour that we're getting started to do right now is just full of all the best songs I've ever done, from the first album, including the last one, and it's all the primo choices. And uh, it kind of, 
I tested it in all, all over South America. So we took it to Brazil and Arge Argentina. Argentina. Argentina okay, I, I, and Chile and, uh, and Mexico and, uh, you know, Panama. And I watched the audiences react and we're getting them. I, and I can't wait to start showing it off here in the United States. So you love all of it? Yeah, right now I just, I have the best band I've ever had. I think I have the best show I've ever had. Um, I have a lot of confidence because we tested it and it works. <laughs> <laughs> that always helps Thank when you, you. test it. Yes, that always helps. <laughs> Thank you. The fans like it. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, that's the meaning of life, isn't it? You don't, you know, I don't mind sitting still, but I don't want to sit still forever. You know, I just, I need time. I'm like a monk sometimes. I need to just get away and get quiet, get away from everybody and don't talk and don't just don't have anybody leading you. You know, I don't I don't want to be watching television and somebody talking to me and moving me around telling me what to think. I just want to sit. I need those moments or hours or days. After that, I need noise, I need energy. I need to be challenged. I, I think people have that, like when there's, they don't stop and think about where they want to go, right. then there's no direction. That's right. Okay, this is, this is you're going to love this one. I do. <laughs> Gabrielle from France. For a long time, your image was long hair and a mustache. We're finally getting to it. And uh, was it?